A moment of silence for our team. Welcome back to another week of the Pack Shack. I have absolutely no words for what what happened this past weekend. Uh, the Green Bay Packers had a fatal match against Dalvin Cook. And yes, I'm going to say Dalvin Cook. Because Dalvin Cook was the only person on the Vikings to score. All four touchdowns. Dalvin Cook. All four. All 28 points. Dalvin Cook. The Vikings are not in this game. Dalvin Cook is in this game. Twenty-eight to twenty-two, we lost this past weekend, where we had a couple of pass interference calls that were completely bogus, and a lovely, you know, what they would call a fumble at the end, of which you know, because I forgot when you're putting your you know arm and hand forward to throw the ball, and somebody smacks your arm, but the ball still goes forward like 10, 15 yards. That's a fumble, people. We all know if that was Brady, that would have been a straight-up incomplete pass. Anyways, let's get into this devastating week and get past it. Aaron Rodgers had 27 completions out of 41 attempts for 291 yards, 3 touchdowns, 0 interceptions. Rushing this week, once again, Aaron Jones is out. Heck, I think uh, Alan Lazard is still out too. I haven't seen him in a minute. Jamal Williams had 16 carries for 75 yards, so they have 4.7 average, no touchdowns. A.J. Dillon had 5 for 21, 4.2 average, no touchdowns. He is now out with a COVID testing positive. Aaron Rodgers had two runs for 9 yards, 4.5. Marquez Valdez-Scantling had 1 for 4. Receiving-wise, Robert Tanya Jr. picking up the slack this week. Five receptions for 79 yards, 15.8 average, no touchdowns. Devontae Adams, you know, yeah, he had seven receptions for 53 yards. Low game, 7.6 average. He just, he's our Dalvin Cook this week. He's the only person who scored our touchdowns, so. Hands to you, Mr. Adams. Jay Sternberger had three receptions, 46 yards for a 15.3 average, no touchdowns. Of course, nobody else got any other touchdowns. Jamal Williams had six receptions for 27 yards. Ouch. 4.5 average. Malik Taylor had one for 26. Mark, uh, Marcus Valdez Scantling had one for 19. AJ Dillon had one for 16. Yeah, everybody else had one. One apiece down there. Uh, defense. I don't even want to talk about you guys. No interceptions. I think what? One, maybe two sacks. One sack to Dean Lowry. Our defense, we can't stop the run. Dalvin Cook ran right through all of us. Just kept running through. Because we like to tackle by the ankles. Not wrapping them up and taking them down. We like to try to you know untie their shoes before they fall down. Because apparently to our you know coaching staff, that's a hell of a lot better than you know actually tackling the guy. Maybe he'll trip and fumble the ball. Not gonna happen. Our defense is being complete trash, and we shouldn't be this way. With Darnell Savage, Adrian Amos, Jair Alexander, Kenny Clark, you know, come on. There's more. I'm Malik Taylor. Like, what are you guys doing? Seriously. Y'all killing me. Sidaria so Smith. Where are you guys at? You know? Come on. We have to stop the run. We stopped the passing. There was one passing touchdown. One. But we could not stop the run. Even when we had Cook. Or uh, what was their backup? Madison I think his name is. Yeah, Alexander Madison. We couldn't stop him. 
Hell, Dalvin Cook had over 200 yards. 163 running and 63 passing. Or receiving, as I should say. Just absolutely horrible. Bad. We, we, need to, we need to get something figured out there. Come on. Uh, kick returns, Darius Shepard had two for 53 yards, a 26.5 average, no touchdowns. Uh, Tyler Irvin had one punt return for nine yards. Uh, Mason Crosby, no field goals, two points. J.K. Scott, he was punting, one punt, 38 yards, one and a 20. Kudos to you. Just absolutely horrible. Just bad. I just... <laughs> and the worst part about this is is uh, we're up Thursday for the 49ers. Now, the 49ers have uh, Garoppolo and Kittle are going to be out because they re-injured themselves this past weekend. I hope you guys get to feeling better. I know your team's not at 100%. But even at this point, you know, our defense is, I mean, lacking so bad. You know, uh, I think that's going to be a boring game because, you know, our defense can't stop anything. And without Aaron Jones, apparently our run game is done. So uh, my prediction next week, I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I'm going to say it's probably going to be like 17-10. to 10. That's my prediction with the Packers up. The only reason I say the Packers up is because the 49ers don't have their star, you know, tight end or their quarterback. And I'll be honest with you, that's the only reason I'm putting this over. Because if they had Kittle and they had Garoppolo, I don't see us standing a chance. Because Kittle likes to blow through defenses. He drags people down the field. The dude does not give up. He's a beast. Now, if we get Aaron Jones and Alan Lazard back, I doubt back Atari's coming back. I believe I said his name right. If I it didn't, I'm sorry. Now, as long as we get Aaron Jones back, I think we'll be good. Take some pressure off the throwing game. Because Devontae Adams can only do so much. You know, this past week he caught nothing but short pass touchdowns. So, um, at that point, depending on how this week goes with injuries, I know A.J. Dillon, like I said, is out with covid uh, Aaron Jones was still out. We'll see how he feels. I doubt he's going to be in that soon if he was out on Sunday. You know, I just... It has been a terrible week, and I think next week's going to be terrible. Thank the Lord, after that week, we have the Jaguars. You know, so we'll get a little bit of a break there. There's, ten, there's a 10-day break there. 10. So if Jones and Lazard and them aren't back by Thursday... I hope and pray they're back by the 15th of November. Because if they're not, then... You know? They're not. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say to that. Uh, there's not much to talk about. Like I said, a uh, couple pass interference calls that I think were bogus. The ending of that game was just dumb altogether. You know... I just I don't see how you can call it as a fumble when, you know, I'm not even joking. You. I, I recommend you guys going and looking at the highlights and watching it in this game, you know, because what it is, so clearly his, his arm's coming forward. And I understand, yes, the hand has to go forward, okay? But my point of it is, is it hits the arm, the hand still moves, everything still moves, and the ball goes forward. Now, it came up incomplete and would have left, like, I think like six, maybe eight seconds left on the clock. Yeah, it would have gave them another chance to bomb one downfield because it was 22 to 28. They had to get a touchdown. Yeah, but I think it was just completely bogus. I think it was a terrible call. And I'm just, <laughs> I am just upset. <laughs> I just, I can't believe how this weekend has gone. But I'm um, still scared. Scored. Almost said scared. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's scary. Scary one right after Halloween. We still scored 22 points. So, you know, I think we're still up there. Heck, I think our lowest scoring game was against the Buccaneers, and that was 10. 
Everything else, we've been 20 points and above. Yeah, we had the first week against the Vikings, 43, then 42, then 37, then 30, then 10, then 35, then 22. So, I mean, we're still scoring. We're still getting there. It's just our defense needs to pick up. Guys, tackle. Get in there. Get it done. Anyways, I wanted to give a shout-out to uh, the intro of the video, the little Vike guy. Uh, drew by my brother, animated by uh, a streamer. Uh, we'll try to put the link down under if you guys want to uh, check them out. They're pretty cool. But uh, really cool animation. Lasts about six seconds. Uh, I put the guitar, little guitar behind it just to you know, give a nice little soft tune to it. But I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week of the Pack Talk. I'm sorry that it is just anger mode today. I'm sorry that it's just we've lost and it's bad and our defense is just not getting the job done. Yeah, we'll come back. We always do. Yeah. We're still, I think, what, 5-2 and two now? Yeah. Yeah, with the Bears losing last night against the Saints, we're still up at the top of the division. Lions are three and four. The Vikings are two and five. You know, we'll get there. We're getting there. Our defense just needs to get back up. Our offense needs to get healthy. And we'll be right back on top where we belong. Anyways, guys, I'll give you a smile so, you know, you don't think I'm completely just torn apart and angry about this. I am. But, hey, the week goes on. We move on. Next up, 49ers. We'll see what happens. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Remember, if you like it, leave a like. If you want to, subscribe. Ring that bell for no more notifications. I can't talk today. I just, it's anger. Anyways, uh, leave comments down below. Let me know if there's something you want me to add. Yeah, if there's something you else want me to talk about. Uh, anything. I'm Suggestions. I'm looking for everything. Just, just give me anything. Yeah. Follow me on here. I'll leave my links down below. Twitter. Uh, I try to talk about NFL on there all the time, wrestling, uh, current events, you know, stuff like that. Anyways, uh, so yeah, leave a like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for more notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.